wanted to film a video for you as a request that you guys actually wanted on this look here. This was the look I did for New Year's Eve slash my birthday. My birthday's on New Year's Eve. I was in Vegas and I was just having the time of my life and I wanted to look as glam as possible. I actually went on Sephora last week and bought a whole bunch of makeup because you know I don't have enough. <laughs> Uh, lies, I actually have way, way, way too much. However, there were a few products that I was like, I must have these in my life, and if I don't get them, I will cry. I saw that there were a few limited edition items on Sephora and I was like, okay, if I don't get these now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick myself in the ass for not doing it. Tarte had this Blush Bazaar palette. They had it on massive sale. And when I went on Sephora's website last week, I logged onto the website and it was sold out. And I was like, bitches. I was so upset because I was like, I hate when a limited edition item is there and I'm like, should I? And then I don't, it's gone forever and I regret it. So stupid, it's just makeup. I get that it's really not that big a deal. I have some new stuff that I'm gonna try for you guys, but it's not not a first impression. I have tried this stuff before and it is fucking good. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, make sure you guys follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christie. So Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, you know the drill. Let's get into this makeup tutorial on my New Year's Eve slash birthday slash 30. I'm actually 30 years old. Look, holy shit. So first and foremost, before we get into anything, I wanted to show you guys this trick because Nikki Tutorials talked about this two years ago maybe, and it has been a godsend, lifesaver, change my life thing. Well, it didn't really change my life, it changed my, my beauty blender life. So this is my flower beauty sponge, and as you can tell, it is well loved. I've used the shit out of it, and I'm gonna show you how clean it gets with using this trick. And it is hotel soap. Whatever the hell they put in this soap is the best beauty sponge cleaner that exists on the face of this planet. Mine is here. I stole it from the hotel when we were in Vegas, but this is, it doesn't even matter. Every soap I've ever used from any hotel gets these cleaner than anything. So this is what it looks like now. Hideously dirty. And I'm gonna go clean it with the hotel soap and I will be right back and show you guys just how clean this gets and you're gonna be shocked. All right, are you guys ready? Look at that. It literally is like a new sponge. Can you believe it? I am literally shocked. I could have probably gotten all of this staining out if I just washed it for like another second. But this is literally after washing it for like 30 seconds. It gets it cleaner than anything else. It is seriously so amazing. How does it work like that? So when I was there, I did my eyes first because I wanted everything to be as crisp and clean as possible. I do find that for me personally, when I do my eyes first, everything just looks better. I ignore my skin right now. I'm in like the purging phase because I was eating carbs for like a, a month and a half. Now I'm back to keto. My body's basically telling me that since I treated it that way for a month, it's going to punish me. So I'm gonna moisturize my face first and foremost. That's what I'm gonna start off with. And this is the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. This is one that I have been trying. And oh my God, if you guys have not tried this, try to see if you can get a sample of it from Sephora. Okay, it's already doing it. It's the, it is the weirdest feeling moisturizer. So it goes on your face like a thick cream. And as you start rubbing it, it changes. It turns from a thick cream into literally just feels like I'm touching my face with water. It like melts down. It's the strangest feeling. When I first used it, I was like, oh, I hate it, I hate it. But I actually really like it because it sinks into the skin. Like you can tell it's actually moisturizing your skin, which is really nice. I also really love that this thing comes with a little spatula so you don't have to dip your fingers in. All right, skin is moisturized and while that's sinking in, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. When I was on my trip, I used the Kylie concealer in the color ivory and that's what I'm going to use today. And I just sort of prime my eyelids with that. Then I go in with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just set my eyelids quickly. All right, and eyelids are ready for eyeshadow. And the palette that I went in with, this is my traveling palette. I always am using this every time I travel. It looks horrifying. It's all coffee stained, but that's just, it's, it shows wear and I like that. Is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. Just love it so much. Really just do a mishmash of colors. I was not super precise and I rarely ever am with this palette. So I take this shade here and sort of these ones down here, sort of mash them all together and then run them throughout the crease. I'm gonna take this on my BH Cosmetics number no. five brush from the Rose Gold set. And all I do with this is I take it and I was running it real haphazardly through my crease because we're gonna do a spotlight cut crease. So you do not have to be perfect with this whatsoever. Like you don't have to make sure it's incredibly blended on your eyelids or anything. It's all gonna be covered up with concealer. 
I sort of winged it out on the outside. Not sorta, definitely winged it out. And I didn't use too many oranges. It kind of looks really warm right now. Because the color we're putting on the lid is very taupe champagne. It honestly doesn't matter though. Like you could do any color your hair you want because the lid shade is all, it, it can go with anything. So you could literally do blue, green, purple, orange, brown. Like I'm going with this neutral brown because that's what I did on my birthday, but you can literally do anything. I think my favorite kind of eye looks to do are ones where you don't have to be super careful with them because you're cutting them out with concealer. I think that it's so fun because you can literally just be so haphazard with how you apply the makeup, like the initial steps of blending, as long as you are gonna do a really precise job with cutting out with concealer. I honestly used to hate doing cut creases when I didn't know about the concealer technique. Like, look how horrifying this looks. Yet it's gonna look so bomb. So I'm gonna take that deepest brown shade on the bottom, the shade Central Park, and I'm going to pack that on the outer and inner portions of the eye on my lid. We'll do more of this later, but right now, it's just to get the color there. We're gonna go through and cut that crease area and make it look less terrible. So, the brush I'm gonna use for this is my Sigma Concealer Brush, and it's this little guy here, and it gets nice and flat, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Kylie Concealer, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm going to look at myself in the mirror and I'm gonna draw where I want that cut crease to go. So you can see where my natural eye creases. You see, you kind of put your eye down. I want it to be above that. So I'm kind of looking here, letting my eye crease naturally. I'm going above that. Seems a little high, but it's nice because then when your eye is open like this, you can see that it makes your eye appear bigger, elongate, everything. It's just so much better. So then I'm gonna take this and drag it down. And as you've done that, you've used the majority of the concealer that's on your brush. We did a look similar to this recently. So it's the same technique that I used in the Kathleen Lights video. So now that you've got that colored down, pat out the edges into the brown that we put down before. That's not super harsh, but more blended out like that. All right, so that's the general idea of what we're looking for. And then what I did is I went in with this next product, which is literally my favorite. It's so cool. I just bought it and I'm obsessed with it. I need all the colors. It is this Tarte Chrome Paint in the color Top Yacht. And I'll show you a swatch of this. Oh my God. So just gently putting my finger in. Holy shit, you guys on the eye. It is absolutely stunning and so easy to use. So literally you just sort of swirl your finger in gently and you can see just swirling in gently how much product I get on my finger. And then I like to use my ring finger for this. And then I was patting it onto the center of my eyelid. And then using a clean finger to sort of tap out the edges. Like I need every single color of these right now. I wore this shadow like every single day when I was in Vegas cause it is just the most beautiful way to do that it's just it's perfect to pop in the center of the lid you don't have to mix it you don't need a mixing medium it's obviously so metallic and beautiful what i like to do is take a little bit of that dark shadow and then pat it over the edges after i'm done to deepen those back up so that really the center is the main area that focuses the brightness obviously this is a spotlight cut crease that we're doing they're not like cream at all. They're definitely a dry pressed pigment. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the color Midnight Cowboy. And I took that and I just took it right over that crease, but I did bring it in all the way to the inner corner. Then I went in with Schwing Liner from The Balm and I did a thick black wing. Uh, I don't know if I can like do a tutorial on how to do a wing. Okay. 
Okay, not bad. They're not perfect, but they're not bad. Then what I did is I took the Makeup Forever Aqua XL pencil in the color black and I lined my upper and lower waterline. Now I'm going to throw on a coat of mascara and my lashes. I'm not gonna do that on camera because it takes 16 years. I'll be right back and we will move on to the rest of the face, which I got some new products for and I am literally obsessed with them. So BRB. So I've got my lashes and my brows on now. I'm gonna carve out my brows with a bit of concealer because they're looking a little bit weird. This can also help if you brought your eyeshadow up too high to make it look cleaner as well. Instagram brows are back, bitches. Then I just took a little bit of Gimme Brow and ran that through my brows to define the hairs. Feeling like a sexy arms bench. We're gonna move on to the rest of the face. I'll finish the eyes at the very end because I wanna do my bottom lashes last. So for my skin, I'm sure you guys are gonna be so surprised on what foundation I'm about to use. I don't know if I've used this in long time. L'Oreal Pro Glow. And what's nice is, see how we like did a shitty job on the eyeshadow? When you go through and do the concealer, you clean all of that up and it looks like you're the best eyeshadow ass bitch in the entire world and I love that. I'm gonna take the Kylie concealer and I'm going to spot conceal areas in my face. I'm gonna do my under eyes. I'm gonna spot conceal kind of around my nose and mouth too. I just did a full review on these. If you guys missed it, I will link it up here. I did a full review comparing the Kylie and ColourPop concealers, and you guys can see my thoughts on that. I did a wear test. I was wearing it for like a week. I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. All right, now I'm gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna bake my under eyes the way I normally do. I'm also gonna set the rest of my face lightly. And then we're moving on to my new products I got. All right, so the two new products that I bought that I'm really excited about, I've loved using these so far. I brought these with me to Vegas and the first time I tried them was there and I've used them literally like five times each since then. I just love them and I think they're so good. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. And on the inside, you've got four contour shades, although I only consider two of these contour. Um, two of them do have shimmer in them, which I find to be a little strange. And then you've got two of the lighter shades here, which I actually do use. It smells like chocolate. And then the other product I got, which is really cool and I'm super loving it, is the Benefit Cheek Parade Palette. And in here, you get the Hula Light and Hula Bronzer, California Blush, Dandelion Blush, and Rockateur. So you have like their cult favorites in here. Comes with this little brush that I'm super good on. I wish they would have just added one more blush or a highlight or something, but you know, I've been loving these products. They are seriously so good. And the packaging on this one is so beautiful. This feels so sturdy. I just am really liking it. Go with my Swift 112 brush into these two matte shades here. I'm taking my contour up a little higher now so that it gives me like a lifted appearance to my cheeks. If you start out too low, it can really drag your face down and make it look more round. Also taking this up along my hairline as I normally do to continue to add a little bit of color on my forehead so that my cheeks and my forehead aren't one different color. This also can bring the size of your forehead down if you've got a seven head like I do. The colors of these are really beautiful. I just find them to blend really nicely. I love how easy they are to use. I love that you pretty much have everything you need for contouring and highlighting right in this one palette. It's just nice. If you go a little bit too low, when you're bringing this down. What I did when I was actually on my trip is I took and I just mixed these two shades together. If you have fair skin, this will work. And I just sort of cleaned up that line. Then I was going in and mixing kind of all three of these blush shades, but mainly going in with Rockateur here and blushing up my cheeks. Mm. It's subtle, but so pretty. I like to bring my blush just higher up on the back of my cheekbones instead of really focusing it on my apples and my cheeks. Personal preference, really. I think it's more because I have a round face, so if I really focus everything here, it just makes me look kind of like a Cabbage Patch doll. I used two different highlights while I was there as well. I used the MAC Cosmetics and 
Robert Lee Morris highlight in peach. So that's what I'm gonna do today. But then I also went in with Ofra Rodeo Drive. So if you don't wanna use two highlights, which is completely understandable, you can just do that one if you're unable to get this one. I love this highlight though. This is my Sigma strobing fan brush. I love this brush for applying highlight. And I do like to bring that down a little further on my cheeks. Some people don't, it's just personal preference. And that may be enough highlight for some people, but this is me we're talking about. So I'm gonna go in with Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight. To finish off my eyes, I'm actually gonna go in with just this shade here mixed with some of these, just kind of the same colors we did on our eyelid. And I'm going to pat that in and just run them under my eyelid. Simple. And this is the Time 206 brush. And some people like to focus all the attention on the upper eyelid, um, not me. I have pretty long lower lashes as is, so I love it when I put mascara on them and they look like that. Some people don't, but oh shit, I love it. So I take a little bit of lip liner and just define my lips a little bit, but all I'm doing is gloss actually. So if you wanna make your lips look a little bigger, you can take a little bit of lip liner and just sort of outline them. My lips are so crusty right now. This is the NYX Mauve Lip Liner. Oh, I forgot, there's definitely another step to my eyes. I forgot! I took the Urban Decay glitter and I just went like this. Right in the front there. All right, now I'm gonna go grab my lip product. I left it downstairs in my purse because it stays in my purse at all times because it's my all-time favorite lip gloss ever. BRB. The gloss I used for this was the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Oh dear Jesus. I mean this when I say this. Every single one of you watching this has to get this. It is perfect for fair skin, perfect for deep skin, perfect for every shade in between. It is the most beautiful, glossy, gorgeous gloss. The fact that I forgot this in my 2017 favorites video could make me wanna scream. It is so good. I literally wore this every day. I, I wear this every day. And this is the finished makeup look, you guys. I am literally obsessed with it. I feel like if I'm ever gonna do a glam, this is it. This is what I want in life. <laughs> Maybe sans the glitter. I did this one day without the glitter and it looked just as beautiful. I just was making sure to really cut the crease in a perfect way. It's just, I feel so pretty in this. I urge you to try it if you haven't. Products you need to pick up if you haven't yet. I love that Tarte palette. I love the, the Benefit Cheek Parade as well. And I also really love this Tarte Chrome Paint. These are so cool, you guys. You must try them. Everything else, I mean, this Fenty Gloss, oh shit. It's lit, tell me it isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. God damn, it's the perfect color. I feel like such a bitch in this makeup. This is that don't talk to me makeup. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but like this is resting bitch face makeup. This is unapproachable, which I kind of hate in a, way, a lot of ways. People tell me I have the bitchiest face, especially when I go to like events and things or places where I don't know people or stores and like a subscribers there or something. They'll be like, oh, I was kind of afraid to approach you. You know, I'm, you look like you're kind of upset. And it's like, I'm never upset. This is what I look like in public. I'm just looking around, but I, I guess I have a really bitchy face. So tell me, do you think I have a bitchy face? Because I get that comment more than I think any other comment. Like people say that they don't wanna approach me because I look like such a fucking bitch. And I hate that because I'm literally not, I, wa I wanna meet everyone. I would, if you came up to me and said hi, even if I was standing there like this, I'd be like, oh my God. Like I'm, I hate that about myself. I have to check my face because if somebody's talking to me and even if they're telling me like a cool story, a lot of times I'm like, I don't know why, that's just like what my default face is like angry or disgusted almost. I, I feel like, I, I, I feel fine, but I need to smile more and like, I just don't, I, my, my default face is this. I just look 
like I hate everyone, apparently. And make sure you also don't forget to, again, subscribe to my channel, uploading every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you guys have any video requests, let me know. I plan on doing some challenge videos sometimes. I think they're really fun and I think it would be fun to incorporate into my channel. I do a lot of reviews and things on my channel, but I also love teaching and doing tutorials and things like that as well. And I hope you guys like this video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. All right, so I'm gonna take this on my Zoeva. No, what? Ugh. It is this Tarte Cosmetic hair. It is this Tarte. Oh, come on, bitch. Sounds like someone's in my house. Thank God it was the mailman. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, I sneezed right into my hands. That's horrifying. So then I went in with Schwing Liner from the Balm. Wait, how do I do this? Two, you get the hula light, oh, come on hair. Then to finish off my eyes, to finish off, then to finish off my eyes, I'm at, God damn it, how many times am I gonna say that? My, oh, I left it downstairs, didn't I? Son of a bitch. But this is the NYX Mauve liquid, what? <laughs> ah, shut up.